Hey everybody, happy Monday. And today what I want to talk to you about is a blockchain insurance application with multiple organizations all running on the IBM blockchain platform. So I'm super excited to start talking about this and let me kind of just jump into the project. So essentially what we have is we have the, the major components are is that we have this um, insurance smart contract that's already installed um, and I'll kind of go through that smart contract later on in the video. But the most important thing is that we have it installed on my channel three and all of these four peers that we can see here, the police peer, the repair shop peer, the shop and the insurance peer. And now um, if we go onto the channels, um, we already talked about my channel three, um, but this is where we can see all the transactions that are happening on my channel. And essentially um, we can go into our code editor and see that um, this is kind of the main uh, blockchain client that's using this newest Hyperledger Fabric programming model, the Fabric Network um, package. And what we do is we create um, uh, certificates for our insurance peer um, and all of these shop, uh, repair shop, police, and insurance uh, uh, application admins. And we use these identities to actually connect to the network and we have this connection profile that tells our application exactly where these peers are. And these, you can see the URL running in the IBM cloud here. Um, and these are all um, basically running on Kubernetes. Um, and so we have our peer, our certificate authority, and we have the, the name of the channel that it's running on. And um, essentially what we do is we use this uh, certificate authority name um, to actually submit transactions. And um, essentially, we get our get our network, get our contract, and then after that, we do something like a contract evaluate transaction for a query or a contract submit transaction. So let's go ahead and see this in action. So our app actually creates a bunch of um, uh, Docker containers. So you can see here are three chain code containers that are already running, and we have our web container, and then we have all our peer containers. Um, so this app is running on localhost 3000 as you can see and the first thing we can do and again um, and again we got to remember that the uh, the block head is 25 right now so the first thing that we can do is we can go into the shop we can create a, a buy a smartphone so I'll buy an Apple phone and I'll enter in my name And the start date will be today, and it'll end at the end of the month. I know it's a kind of a short contract. And essentially, once I once I actually submit this transaction, it'll be recorded on our blockchain uh, platform. But I'll keep going and show you the uh, the the flow of the app. So essentially, I'll go and go into my uh, self service claim, and then I'll log in with the uh, passwords and credentials that were just created in the previous step. And once I log in, I can see all of the different contracts that I've created. So I've created this, uh, the, the one that I just did was this Apple contract from today to the end of the month. So we can file a new claim saying that my phone was stolen. Um, and then this, this uh, claim will be logged onto the blockchain platform as well. And we can look at those uh, transactions later on. But after that, the police will actually um, have a notification and they can log in and they can see that it was stolen. This, we can see the serial number here and we can do a file reference um, um, right there and we can confirm or reject. Let's just say yes, indeed it was stolen. This, um, this will actually, the, the police um, transaction for confirming that it was stolen will actually be recorded on the platform as well. And then we can go into claim processing here and we'll see that um, the, the theft was involved and that now, since the police has confirmed it, we can actually reimburse it. So we can say that uh, you know half of the value will be given back um, by the contract, and we can actually reimburse the um, the uh, user. So that's pretty much the flow of the app. Um, we also have the repair shop too, so you can set it for repair, but that's more or less it. And now we can go ahead and, and now we should have like 30 transactions here around, I forgot exactly how many, but we can go ahead and check all those different transactions such as um, creating the contract, such as filing these claims. So I think this one should be the contract create. Um, exactly. So you can see, you know, the mo Apple is the brand Apple model six, and we can see the end date to be the end of the month. 
And if you kind of uh, open all these transactions, you'll see everything else we did, like theft claim process. And that's more or less it. So if you're pretty interested in this and how to build this application, I'll take it um, step by step um, and kind of run through all of the different steps that are needed to connect a multi-organization application such as this one to a cloud blockchain service. Um, so thanks so much for watching.